Oliver Taylor Hawkins, born February 17, 1972, in Fort Worth, Texas. Hawkins graduated from Laguna Beach High School in 1990 after his family moved to the Laguna Beach area of California during the mid-70s. Taylor aspired to become a musician from an early age. Starting to play drums at just 10 years old, he would spend hours playing along to his favorite records. It was at this stage he would discover some of his musical heroes. Phil Collins of Genesis, Stuart Copeland of The Police, and John Bonham of Led Zeppelin would all help to shape Taylor's early path to becoming a musician. Taylor would spend his early 20s being a drummer for hire, trying to get gigs with as many people as possible. When he was around 22 years old, he landed a job as the drummer for the British-born Canadian rock singer Sass Jordan, which gave him his first real experience of living life on the road. In 1995, he would join Alanis Morissette as her permanent drummer on tour, up until 1997 when Dave Grohl would ask him to come and play on a new Foo Fighters record called There Is Nothing Left To Lose. It seemed like perfect timing for Hawkins and his musical career. Nothing Left To Lose would spawn some huge singles for the band, including Breakout and Learn To Fly. It's no secret, however, that Taylor had long suffered from substance addiction and in 2001 he came close to losing his life. On a promotional tour in London with Foo Fighters, Taylor had taken an almost fatal overdose and was rushed to hospital where he spent almost two weeks in a coma. Dave Grohl spent almost every single day by Taylor's side until he woke up. Hawkins would continue with Foo Fighters to release eight studio albums with the band as well as pursuing his own side projects, including Taylor Hawkins and the Coattail Riders. Sadly, on March the 25th, 2022, Taylor Hawkins was reportedly found unresponsive in a hotel room whilst on tour with Foo Fighters. He was just 50 years old. Taylor Hawkins was without doubt an incredible drummer and a creative force when it came to working with Dave Grohl and the Foo Fighters. And he will, of course, be truly missed. Thank you.